We're in Milton, Queensland to meet Matt, educator and beer aficionado. Hey Gillian, how are you? Good, how are you going? Good. Lovely to see you. Nice to see you as well. Welcome to Newstead Brewing. Great. Come in. Let's have a look around. Matt owns and runs Brews News, an informative and passionate blog all about beer and the beer industry. Matt is so passionate about beer and educating anyone who will listen as to why beer is more than just a refreshing slammer after work. I got him to take me on his favourite haunts for a beer tour. Boy, that made me very happy. Enter Newstead Brewing Co. And I was lucky enough to meet the head brewer who holds it down like a boss. Also an awesome female head brewer, Carrie took us behind the scenes for a scientific explanation of how to brew a good one. The four key ingredients are grains, mostly malted barley, hops, yeast and water and how long it takes to make a beer. So this whole process um, takes around about five to six hours depending on the beer that we're making. Um, Quicker than I thought actually. Yeah, yeah, but the whole process of making beer is, is generally around two weeks for an ale style beer, uh, usually around four, four weeks if you're going to make a lager style beer. Um, but yeah, this is where I guess the, the blood, sweat and tears happens <laughs> uh, in this first sort of five, six hours of the process and then we just let the yeast do its thing after that. Have a party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. She took me to the cool room where the beer taps pull from. Obviously you need to make sure that the beer is flowing through the system, hence we've got our little sight glasses, mm -hmm. but it allows you to see all those lovely colours of the beers and all the different varieties that we actually yeah, serve here at Newstead. I love it. And so when someone pours it from the tap, this is where it's coming from. Yeah, and someone's that, doing it now. That's, that's exactly Ooh. right. You can hear that clicking, it's actually drawing it from out of the keg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really cool. Really, I mean like really cool, like I'm cold. Woo. Yeah. I have to admit, I firmly, solidly believe that drinking my beer from glass bottles tastes more refreshing than a can. But I was given a proverbial slap on the hand as Kerry explains why they don't. Yeah, so in a bottle, um, basically the beer is exposed to UV light. You put beer into a nice dark environment, which is a can, it's not going to be exposed to any of that UV light. It's actually also better for air tightness. Um, obviously in a can you get very little leakage from the, from the actual can, whereas um, the, the bottles are prone to actually, or prone to actually leak from the crown itself. Um, so yeah, nice dark wow. environment, it keeps the, the beer um, airtight um, and at the end of the day we always say it doesn't really matter whether it comes in a bottle or a can, you should actually always pour your beer into a glass. Oh, exactly. Okay. Right. It's part of the sensory experience of enjoying the beer. So I guess three things we, we work really hard as brewers to try and get right is the colour, the clarity and the foam of the beer. Two of which I note are the same qualities used to grade diamonds. Well, that'll be easy for me to remember. So buying yourself a nice glass, having a nice beer glass and pouring your beer into that glass not only allows you to appreciate those things that we've worked so hard to, to actually get right, mm -hmm. it also starts that sensory experience with the beer. You get to see it, you get to actually put your nose in, smell all those lovely hop aromas before actually enjoying the, the beer itself. And also, I guess, especially for, for myself being a woman, it's, it's, I love it because it actually dissipates a lot of the carbon dioxide from the beer, ah. stops you feeling less uh, it make, make, makes it less bloated, so um, yeah, get rid of it. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the things that I'm so proud to represent Newstead. It's a family owned business. Um, it's, it's Brisbane all the way, uh, Brisbane owned, Brisbane produced, a Brisbane packaged product. Everything about us is local in Brisbane. So it doesn't mean that people have to come and support Newstead, but obviously supporting uh, your, your local uh, brewery or uh, local bar is, is I think key to making sure that our um, industry is sustainable into the future. Keeping it close to home. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah love that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next up, we did a beer pairing with foods and desserts at the Port Office Hotel and Restaurant in Brisbane CBD. We went into their wine room for a beer tasting. Funnily enough, it worked. So we're gonna have a bit of fun with this, Jill. Good day, John. Uh, now, tell Gillian what we've got here. We have some Marimbula rock oysters from mm -hmm. Sydney Coastline. Lovely. So you'll find them small, creamy and plump. Very nice. For you to enjoy. Now I know that you're not a huge fan of dark beers, but we're going to start with that one. Now, because we're drinking beer, 
Um, we're, we're using a wine glass, not because we want to be wearing cravats and we're getting all hoity-toity, <laughs> but the glasses are the same. It does let us give the glass a bit of a swirl. Do you really do that for beer? We're tasting today. You're not going to go out into the front bar of your local and start swirling your beer. Somebody will say something unkind. <laughs> but here we are tasting. So we do want to uh, actually get some of those aromas up because a lot of what we perceive is flavour. I tasted the oyster and the dark beer together. I'm still not a fan of the oyster or the beer, but it's good to have the experience. Oh, wow. The main experience for me was the pairing of the beer with desserts. And we have three to try. Now that's my kind of beer pairing. Oh, yum. See, and I'm going to open this one because we're going to have a little bit of fun with this. This is a beer, believe it or not, but wow. you tuck into that. Okay. So we get to have a bit of theatre with this one. It, it is really quite complex. Oh yeah. Mm. I learnt a lot from Matt, mostly. Take your beer seriously, just don't take yourself seriously while you're doing it because yeah. that takes all of the fun out of it. Cheers. Cheers.